What's up? And welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie Lee, and this is Journey with Jessie. <laughs> we are finally covering part two of my journey to South Africa as a professional dancer. So it is now December 2020, and I went to South Africa in December 2019. Hmm. Yes, um, it's a year later. I know, I know. But anyways, getting back to the vlog that we have been anxiously waiting for. So today we're gonna just see the experience when we are actually in South Africa. So if you go back and you watch part one, you will see that it was a struggle. Like we, we didn't have our flight plans until maybe like two days before we were gonna leave. It was really stressful, but we made it through, we conquered it and we made it to the flight. In my entire 30 plus years of living, I had never been on an international flight. I literally go from Atlanta to Virginia, Virginia to Atlanta. So, well, I don't want to say gig, but this particular job was my first international booking. And I feel so blessed and honored that Karen would allow me to be one of those chosen dancers to travel with her. And man, did we have a blast, but getting there, huh. And mind you, we thought we were gonna have a fun time in South Africa. You know, I thought I was gonna be on the safari, seeing the animals. Like, this is exactly what I thought I was gonna see. exactly what happened <laughs> um we literally showed up we had rehearsals we had shows and then me and danny were back on a flight on a flight back to georgia so karen and them stayed because they were able to change their flights but we weren't it was way too much money so they sent us back which was fine because christmas was the following week so it was cool but without further ado i want to get into a little bit of the vlog watch the videos and then just talk to y'all more about it so check this out all right we are officially at the airport and man to get here to, to get our information to get here really not the, the get here part was easy like we had a good trip to the train station and to the airport now we're about to to eat then put me on yeah, we're twinsies now over here. <laughs> Getting ready to fly. Thankfully, we went. I know. <laughs> Why are they twins? <laughs> right, especially when we take the head scars off and we're really twins. Uh, but um, yeah, so we're going to go to New York, spend the night there, and then tomorrow it's the 13 hour, 14 hour, something like that trip. So I'll definitely be recording on the plane for sure. So now we're looking at food. We made it to the hotel. Danny, what just happened when we got to the hotel? Please tell everybody. We get the room key, right? 403, let's go. We go to the fourth floor. Corner room, cool, we like corner rooms. We open the door, it's legit a corner room with a bed sitting in the corner. I walked in and said, what is this? <laughs> I got to go grab both of our bags and yes. we headed downstairs. Who am I to sit in a one full size bed, two grown women? Danny was not playing, y'all. She grabbed my bags. Let's see, I know her and my bags was at the elevator. <laughs> Button pushed already. Already. Uh uh. They were talking about it's usually an upcharge, but with... oh, okay. No. No, ain't a no. And then the email we got said, yeah, I ordered y'all two beds specifically. We can't make, wait to so meet now this we need promoter. Oh yeah. So now we trying to figure out who delivers liquor. The Nobody. Asians sometimes do. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. In my heart, that's what I want, y'all. I'm just happy we made it, but we got a 14 hour flight, so we trying to do whatever we gotta do to stay awake, honey. Yeah. We trying to stay up. We trying to stay up. Man, I'm not the I'm scared to take an Uber anywhere. That part. 
that part. We're gonna figure it out, y'all. I was like, well, I'm just gonna get on. That was extra. That that didn't make any sense. Is he gonna pick up other people? No. So, as y'all can see, I forgot my scarf, but I'm very innovative with my blanket, and it's nice and warm. Cause I have a, a crazy headache. My hair is so bad, but I think it's just sinuses. That's what it feels like, it's sinuses. You take the mask? No, I got it in here. I'm gonna take it. I got 24 hours clearing it. I took my emergency and I'm about to take that. Yeah, I'll take that now. Headed to the airport. Here we go. So, as y'all saw in that video, they had us flying to New York, from New York to South Africa. So, we spent the night in New York. And then we went and we flew to South Africa, which was a 14 hour flight. 14 hours, y'all. Okay. But no, that's not it. The 14 hours wasn't the bad part. The bad part was a bitch was thirsty. Okay. Thirst. <laughs> thirsty. Okay. We were on the flight. I, I, I have to, I can't remember exactly. And mind you, this was a year ago. So here I am. Can't remember exact details. But I remember falling asleep and waking up like. <coughs> I can't swallow. I had to literally ask the flight attendant for some water. And, and when I had woke up, I realized that I had, I had been asleep for, for about six to eight hours. No water. Nothing. And according to Danny, whose mom is a flight attendant, she told me that this is not how international flights are. That you're normally getting water. And so when we got to South Africa, we actually found out that they were having money problems with this airline. And the government wasn't supporting them, even though it was pretty much named after the country. So we'll just say that. Um, but it got to the point that we were hungry and I actually, uh, Danny actually got up and swiped some like crackers off of the, the cart in order for us to have something to eat. It was Danny would tell me, I promise you, this is not how international flights are. Cause she knew it was my first time and I was a little disappointed, but nonetheless uh they were very kind to us it was clean you know everything else was good it's just not enough water and not enough food so to give y'all my my perspective of it we flew in and we had to get off of the plane and then onto a bus which then drove us to the terminal i don't have any footage of that but i thought that was really cool i never had experienced anything like that and we um, ended up driving to the terminal and getting off. And we they met us with the signs or whatever of saying um, who they were to pick us up. Um, the, a car was sent for me and Danny because Karen was not yet in South Africa. She came hours be um, after us. This is our experience when we were in the hotel and and kind of getting our rooms and stuff. So check that out. <laughs> Try to okay. get out. It's fine. I can get it from in here. Danny, we're in our... Car ride to the hotel. We made it. Starving on the plane. <laughs> but we made it. But we have a wonderful host. <laughs> hey, see, hey. <laughs> They're beautiful. They're wonderful. This is the airport we just got in. So, yeah, me and Danny, um, yeah, we survived. That's what we're going to say. Because we were, we were really famished. Yeah. Danny just said, I was famished. I never used that word before. Never. But we are going to have mm -hmm. the snacks on deck. Back up. Up. Okay, but here we go. Next stop, hotel.
Okay guys, so I just got, we just got our tickets and they gave us separate rooms. Bruh, how amazing. We went from one hotel in New York where the rooms were super small. Oh my God, I look like I need, oh I look rough. But um, y'all, to our own room, so let's get it. So here's, first of all, this closet is huge. For it to be a hotel closet. I can't I need some light. Is this light? Um, um I don't even know where the light is. Well, I don't know where the light is, but when I find it, y'all will know. First of all, my door wasn't closed. This is our hotel room. Cute, love that. It's about time. Let me tell you something. It's about time. That's how I used to say about my dreams. I'm 31 years old and I finally made it international. Hey TV. That's what the background y'all are hearing. So this is my view. We are in Pretoria. Pr Pretoria, yeah. So here we go, you see. Pretty cool. Wow. I am so, this is unreal right now. This is unreal, I can't wait for, we're seven hours ahead of the East Coast. Um, Atlanta and Virginia is where my mom is. My mom's in Virginia, my boyfriend and daughter are in Atlanta. So I can't wait for everybody to wake up and so I can tell them, ah, this is so exciting. Well, I figured out the light system. So right now it's no lights. Um, you put the key in. Voila! Voila! You have light. You have a delight. Definitely about to get in here, honey. Whoa! I can't wait. And then we a little little. Oh. Too hard, too hard. Then up so y'all can see. Oop, I just ran to the door. Nothing new in my life because I'm so clumsy. No light in the vanity. Light timer? Time? Like, I don't know how I feel about that. Like, do I just leave the key in there? Maybe I just leave the key in there. Um, slim thick. Uh, uh, let me stop. I'm just scared. <laughs> but I gotta figure out this mirror because I feel like it's supposed to light up because it's a little dark. Cool. Well, let me get to cleaning myself up after this 14 hour ride. Okay, y'all. Ah. It was such a good experience. Like every, the hotel staff, everybody was so kind to us. They loved us. And the best part about this trip was that the hotel was attached to the venue where we were performing. So we we just literally went through an underground station into the arena, performed. Like we could get dressed in our rooms. It was great. And then we were we were there. Today is Thursday <laughs> and um, we're out here scuffing our shoes up. We have a rehearsal at the Sun Arena, Pretoria, South Africa. And we're just outside trying to get our shoes ready. It's rehearsal. We gotta scuff our shoes up. This is what happens as a dancer. You gotta do random stuff. Okay, so I'm pressing too many buttons, but I'm trying to show y'all the street. So we tried to scuff our shoes up, and I feel like I did nothing but smooth them out. They're not, these are our heels. So the bottom is very smooth, which is not good. You don't ever want smooth heels when you're dancing. So we tried to scuff them up, and it didn't work. <laughs> so I guess we need to walk to the street, but I don't want to look crazy in the street scuffing the shoes. Change your shoes back. <laughs> but this is where we're rehearsing. Right here, right next to our hotel. So dope. We don't have to go far. Love that. Beautiful arena. So, we'll see how rehearsal goes. 
We just arrived for rehearsal number one. Show is tomorrow. Today is Thursday, so our show is Friday. So here's our venue. So Danny's getting ready, putting our shoes on. So it's a beautiful, beautiful arena. Looks absolutely beautiful. I can't wait for it to be packed. Yes, Godfrey, our wonderful host, and our beautiful stage. and everything like man it was like janet mother freaking jackson okay you couldn't tell her nothing when she was walking around south africa those people treated her like a queen and it was amazing like i love that feeling and anywhere we uh we went internationally after that you could just tell the love from the international aspect as opposed to in america like americans will rock with you but the the foreigners a different type of love and I de I was not expecting that we had two shows the first one was in Pretoria and then we that next day we woke up and we had to drive to another city to get on the flight to go to Durban South Africa which was like a two-hour flight um, that flight again it, we were on a flight called Mango airlines honey we all just said we just gonna close our eyes and go to sleep because the way that that plane was rocking and a rolling and a shaking and a grooving honey i thought we was done i have never seen clouds like that before okay south africa i don't know what kind of clouds you got honey but when we hit them clouds it was like It was a different type of turbulence, okay? Like, I I just was like, Lord, just let me go back to sleep. Let me go back to sleep. Let me sleep. By the time we touched ground, we were, we were all basically running off the airplane. And the thing about those airplanes is they let you off on the back and the front. So we were closer to the back. 
and I don't think I've ever ran off of a plane that fast in my life. But <laughs> aside from that, the hotel, the second hotel we went to was beautiful. It was even better than the first one. I, I mean, Durban was like, I, I can't even describe it. They call it South Africa's playground. Um, and I thought that was like pretty cool. And, and they, their staff and people were e even more hilarious. So in this footage, you're gonna see the, a little bit from the first show. I, I didn't get a lot of footage from that show because um, our person that was in the audience didn't film a lot of that show, but we had someone come on stage and actually propose. And that was funny because another guy thought that Karen was gonna sing to him in the chair when actually we were trying to get him to get out the way so the other guy could propose to his girlfriend and I, that was pretty funny. First show went, went on flawless. Now this show number two, you're gonna see a, a situation where the mic was on stage, it was not supposed to be on stage. The stage in Durban, which you can't tell on film, was much smaller than the show in Pretoria. So we had to make a lot of adjustments and the stage crew was just not understanding that the mic is on stage for some songs, off stage for the other songs. So I had to, within the choreography, move the mic off stage into another location. So that was pretty funny. When you're performing with a live band, sometimes the band can just get lost in the music and I think that's what happened. And so we were just jazzing. We were like, okay, well, this will be, okay, we're gonna rock and move our shoulders. Like it's, we just made it work. Let's just say that. Without further ado, here's some footage of us actually on stage in South Africa performing. I hope you all enjoy it. And I've even included some of the fan comments and stuff at the end of this video as well. Are you ready, Danny? Yes, love show. We are in Durban. Uh, we don't want to leave. We don't. Uh, they showed us so much love here. This hotel is beautiful. The venue is nice. People, People are, are ten times better than anything. Oh no, we were just recording. You're doing a video. <laughs> yeah, this here. I'm giving it to him. Huh? Give it to him. I know. You bring it to me. Chaka Khan, Donna Summers, and Donna Ross. Yeah. Karen White and her.
for the whole week wow. on repeat. Oh. So the kids, the kids even know this. They wow. were listening <laughs> over and That's over and over. Let's get a picture. So this has yeah. just oh, been amazing. Show number two, complete. But nobody cares. Ah! Yeah. Look, like, they don't like uh, it. I'm so happy. Okay, y'all. So that's it. That is was my experience. Um, my first time experience as an international dancer dancing in South Africa with Karen White. It was a beautiful experience. That it had its ups, its downs. But overall, I would not have ex exchanged that that experience for anything. Um, if it hadn't been for COVID, I may be on tour right now. Who knows? But I know everything happens for a reason. Thank you all for staying, staying this long and watching my vlog. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell because these videos are going to start coming more often than you think. Love you. Mean it. Bye.